An Albuquerque business that faced some tough times is suddenly very popular again, thanks to the filming of Stranger Things there. Skatomania, known to many as Roller Skate City and to kids of the 80s as Roller King, it is a busy place these days. News 13, excuse me, News 13's Carla Sosa shows us. Neon lights and 80s vibes. Fans of the series Stranger Things are getting to immerse themselves into the show at Skatomania. I watched the first season the year that it came out. I was so invested in the show, so to hear that they would be coming out to my job, it was crazy. Blaze Padilla has been working at Skatomania, aka Roller Skate City, for three years, and it hasn't been this busy in a long time. Since Stranger Things, we've definitely seen a big increase in customers. People coming in from out of state just to take pictures and look at the skating rink. We see people wearing the t-shirts, even people dressed up as the characters, so it's been really cool. <laughs> Angela! Uh-oh, look who it is. The rink looks exactly like it did in the show. That's because the production crew left all of its props. So to see everything that they did for us was really exciting. It's helped a business that struggled during COVID. They were shut down for 18 months. Now this place has come back to life. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and sometimes Wednesdays. Cash Lohan skates at least three times a week here. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of cool to see like how it kind of looked in the show, and it just looks cool. I'm a part of some skate groups that are out, based outside of the state as well, and some of those guys have been coming out just to skate for that. Malcolm Shelby has been skating here for 12 years and has noticed the new crowd. And we're starting to see a influx. A lot of adults. We have a lot more adults than what we used to in the past, and so that's been really great to see the reemergence of skating and the skate culture. And the owner says that's not just the result of Stranger Things, but a new interest in skating during the lockdown of COVID. Either way, they're just happy to be back in business. Carla Sosa, KRQE, News 13. Now, before the pandemic, a skatomania or a roller skate city would see anywhere from 200 to 300 people on a busy night. They say they are starting to see those numbers again. They do have special nights, including retro night on Wednesday and an adults only night on Sunday.